Hey, my name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker in Las Vegas. I've done lots of music videos. I've been on this entire streak of diving into the rabbit hole that is BTS and their amazing music videos. You guys have helped me out so much through this journey, like just the simple fact of letting me know that I have to show the big hit logo. Reaction videos are such a good way to promote a song. So I don't know why a lot of record labels make it so hard to do them, but I'm so glad that Big Hit just allows me to react to the videos because they have some really, really amazing videos. Anyway, uh, aside from fake love, Blood, Sweat, and Tears was my most requested video. You guys are saying that the cinematography in this video especially is really, really good, so I'm so excited. The thumbnail looked really interesting, so let's get on into it. Wait, wait, I remember reading a comment that said that this is a set. I've read a comment somewhere saying that they built a museum. This looks like a museum. They built this entire set. They're not just at a museum somewhere. That is, that's crazy, what? Okay, so if that's a set, then I don't know what I'm into for this video. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. That looks beautiful. The pitam the machi machi murta got your god. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. I love it. I think it's so interesting that they'll do like a normal version of a shot like this one, which is like, it looks good. And then they'll throw in some atmosphere and some interesting camera angles and make it all cinematic. So like that looks good, but then it's like, oh, that looks really good. I, I love cinematography and like really good cinematography and like I love when things just look so pretty like random things like ran random things like this oh my god him just like I don't know why like that looks so good to me see this is what I'm talking about like a normal shot it looks good you know normal shot Throw in some atmosphere and make it all cinematic out of nowhere. They do that a lot. It's it's very interesting. I think you guys are right. I think sometimes I have to watch things multiple times just to like get a full grasp because that was a lot happening right there. See, now that I know that these are all sets, obviously like he's in a room, it's a set, but now that I know that everything is pretty much a set, it, give, it makes my brain think differently. So like outside, it looks like it's just the nighttime outside, but they're in a studio, it's black, and that's just a studio light just pulling throughout the window. So it just, it makes me think a little bit differently. Chocolate. Stuff like that, oh, it looks so good. The, and wings, but no, you're not getting... the difference between like what they're doing and like what I could possibly do is that my entire video would look like this and this looks so good and they used it for like two seconds or like one second. My entire video would be trying to do this and they get like these amazing shots and they're like, eh, one second. Oh 
Whoa. I love that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I think. I think this is what they're doing. So they have all of these statues. And one thing about like building your own set and stuff like that is that you get to choose how it looks. So if they're in this museum, they built a museum so they can place whatever statues they want in it. So obviously um, there is something about like devil wings, I think I saw him say. Um, so that's why you have like the, the devil-ish statue on the left. And I'm guessing that's more of like an angel statue. So there's like duality right there. But the fact that they have statues in general, most statues are wearing like cloths or like silk or like they have like these like fabric and stuff like that. So, so him laying down and having this cloth right here just run over him. To me, this is a reference to the statues. I don't know if that's right, but like from like a, a storytelling through the cinematography, it's like him becoming a statue or like getting immortalized or it's just like, I, I feel like it's a reference to the statues, if that makes sense, I don't know. But it looks so good. Oh, that part. Yes, yes, yes. That, look at the colors, the smoke, the atmosphere. If you can't tell, I like having like the atmosphere adds depth. It instantly makes everything look more cinematic. But like the colors, they look so pretty. Interesting. I think my theory was correct. The fact that they had a sheet going over him to like make him become like a statue, I think that's correct because this is a painting. They are becoming a painting right now. How do they do that? <laughs> when was this released? This was made in 2016 and the background is moving. How do they do this on a physical set? You could do this on a physical set today, but 2016, Five years ago, I don't know how you would do this on a physical set. So today, we have shows like The Mandalorian. Watch, I could show you really quickly. So now they have like virtual sets to where you are surrounded by like LED walls pretty much and they can put anything that they want on the LED walls. So you can see here, he is surrounded by all of those LED walls and they could just put whatever they want. If for example, they wanted to put this background and make it look like they were a physical painting, then you could just stand there in a physical set and have the background move or whatever, and it would look like you're on a painting, just like this. Five years ago, I have no idea how they did this. I would say that it's a green screen. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably gonna look at the behind the scenes for this video tomorrow and just have my mind blown because this is gonna be a physical set somehow. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. It seems like with their videos, everything that I know is wrong. And it's just the opposite. It's just, ah. Like, what is that? Maybe it's just like a really big screen. I don't know. It's so good. It looks like water. Maybe he's standing in front of a gigantic screen. I don't know. That was nice, that was nice. Nice little transition. So this is what you guys are talking about with these details. You see the ceiling, those tiles on the ceiling? One, it's really good as far as lighting because they're just shining all of this light and that's how they're lighting this. So they're hiding their lights in plain sight. So very good for set design. But for like a story-based thing, there's the lights, those same lights on the ceiling, and then they always have the one on the floor. 
So you can, I'm getting somewhere with that. I, maybe I'll need to like watch the rest of the video, but I'm getting somewhere with that. <laughs> Damn it. That's cool. I live in Las Vegas and I see stuff like this all the time at the casinos. It looks exactly like this too. Well, not exactly like this. It looks like that chandelier for sure, but like I could definitely see this at the casinos, but the fact that they make everything look like paintings in this video is so cool. Like they're just, they're just in a painting. Money, money. It was so pretty. Money, money. Wait, was it, what? Wait a second. Oh, it's not even pink. Oh, I love it when people do that. The like floating thing. I love it so much. Look at him float. What make, what like sells these effects is all of these particles underneath of him. So you can see like, as I scroll through those particles, they move with him. So yes, like you, you can like do some sort of an effect and like have him float or something, but if the rest of the world is not interacting with him, then it's gonna look really fake. And this, obviously it's not fake because he's wearing like a harness, like right here on his body, he's wearing a harness to like suspend him. So it's not fake, but if you didn't have like these particles and stuff like that, then it would look fake. through the particles. Mm. He too was a tempter. He too was a link to the second. The evil world with which I no longer wanted to have anything to do. Okay, just change up, that's fine. Chills. What the heck? They were his wings. They're crying. Oh my God, <laughs> why did that, why did that hit me in the feelings so much? I don't know. Like that, for whatever reason, got like very emotional for me at the end. I don't know why. That was really pretty. That was really pretty. It makes, it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. So like these old like painters and sculptures, they, they made these pieces of art that could be appreciated for like centuries on end. And in this video, they are becoming the art, whether it's paintings or statues, they are representing themselves as this art. So with their blood, sweat, and tears, they're gonna create artwork that is going to last for centuries. Or at least that's what I got from the video. <laughs> I, th I think I'm right, I think I'm right, but I don't know, let me know in the comments below 
Let me know what video I should react to next. Like I said, I'm doing a reaction video every single day this week, so let me know what's next. But that's about it. All right? All right.